every week sees the release of multiple mysterious videos. However, some of these defy explanation. So, from a Mexican witch to a violent ghost, join us. Recently uploaded, this video was filmed somewhere in Montreal, Canada. The videographer films the moon on a daily basis. However, in his latest look, he apparently captured these UFOs. Incredibly, based on the size of their shadows, they would have to be massive. In this next video, a woman is casually walking down the street, when she is suddenly and violently thrown by an unseen farce. Mysteriously, while some blame a chain, others maintain there is nothing there. As such, if this isn't the answer, what kind of farce would be able to throw over a person with such ease? In recent years, the phenomena of frozen planes has become a hot topic among paranormal enthusiasts. Usually credited to the simulation theory, most of the videos can be explained. However, this one continues to puzzle viewers. Shot by Atlanta resident Sebastian Badajas, it shows a private plane frozen in midair. Initially, some skeptics blame the wind, yet the banner behind the plane doesn't reflect this. Eventually, after over a minute, the plane finally resumes its flight, but what caused it to freeze in the first place? Little is known about this next video, although it's believed to have been filmed in Russia. If that is the case, then this father and son may have captured the old master, the Russian Bigfoot. Compared to most Bigfoot footage, this one has little to no skeptics, and is considered to be one of the best videos out there. In particular, people draw attention to its massive shoulders and elongated arms, both of which seem to make a hoax unlikely. On May 17, 2006, a mysterious entity was filmed flying over the Nueve Leon Mountains in Mexico. According to those who captured the video, it appeared to be wearing a cape, an observation that led to theories it was a witch. Eerily, in support of this claim, two policemen revealed that they had seen a similar or identical witch that same day. Una persona vestida de negro, así con plumas, dos garras negras, así negras. Me asusto y me cuenta que donde la veo así, pero ella iba agachada. Entonces me hago para atrás, me meto otra vez al cuarto donde estaba y de este lado al cerrar la puerta venía otro. Según él. Una noche cuando vigilaba este lote de autos, recibió la visita de dos seres que volaban sobre el Panteón de Santa Catarina, ubicado a espaldas del cerro donde fue grabada la enigmática figura. Dos años antes, Leonardo Samaniego relató un encuentro similar. Curiosamente, él también era un policía. Estaba vestido de negro y tenía unos ojos grandes. Y es morena. Pero ya no me cansé de ver más. Estaba vestido de negro y traía un gorro con una punta hacia atrás. Pero no tenía nada de escoba, nada. Pero iba volando sola. 
However, some skeptics maintain that the supposed witch is actually just a bunch of balloons, yet those who saw it are insistent it was supernatural. Used in multiple public hero videos, this clip initially seems to depict the close call rescue of a bystander. However, when researchers look closer, what seemed like an ordinary fall now appeared to be the result of paranormal interference. Eerily, when zoomed in, you can see a faint apparition, one that seems to actively push the bystander. Then once the woman falls on the tracks, it stays in place for a few seconds before disappearing. On April 8th, 1994, the music world was shaken when the Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain was found dead in his home, apparently having committed suicide. However, some fans are adamant he was murdered, likely on the orders of his wife, Courtney Love. To investigate this theory, filmmaker Nick Broomfield met with musician Al Duce, who claimed Love had offered him $50,000 to kill Cobain. But did she tell you how she wanted you yeah, to pop Yeah, she just blow his fucking head off. I got the shotgun. But she didn't say anything about Make making it look, it look like, like a suicide. suicide. Well, yeah, but if you just blew his brains out, like you said, it wouldn't look like suicide. It looked like you blew his brains right. out, right? But uh, I told Alan, I mean, uh, my friend, who... <laughs> uh, I'll let the FBI catch him. But uh... As seen, he accidentally mentions a person called Alan, now believed to be fellow musician Alan Wench. Mysteriously, Wench was the last person to see Ducci alive before he was found dead a few days later. Still, the mystery isn't over just yet. Near the end of the aforementioned interview, an unknown woman seems to scream out, Help us. Hey, 50 grand does a lot of talking. You buy me a beer, I might do some more talking. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst most have heard of the mainstream 9-11 conspiracies, one controversial theory proposes that United 93 was actually empty when it crashed. Supposedly, the passengers were removed from the plane and subsequently murdered. To prove this, theories point to the voicemail from C.C. Lyles, a flight attendant on United 93. You have to listen to me carefully. I'm on a plane that's been hijacked. I'm on the plane. I'm calling from the plane. I want to tell you I love you. Please tell my children that... We too can notice the absence of the typical background noise heard inside a plane. I don't know what to say. There's three guys. They've hijacked the plane. I'm trying to be calm. Mysteriously, before CC hangs up, she whispers the words, It's a frame. I hope to be able to see your face again, baby. I love you. Bye. End of message. Even by playing the segment several times, it remains difficult to hear anything different from the words, it's a frame. Whilst there are plenty of UFO sightings, this one has the added benefit of a mysterious leaked video. Years before its release, in December 2009, these two videos were uploaded to YouTube. Shot in Moscow, they appear to show the same pyramid-shaped UFO. After the release of this footage, sightings of the pyramid went quiet. Then in 2018, this UFO was caught above the Pentagon. Mysteriously, around the same time, this leaked video found its way online, allegedly taken at a UN closed meeting in New York, 
a woman reveals the Pentagon Pyramid was extraterrestrial in nature. Interestingly, she is now identified as Alaya Prokofieva, the real founder of the private space company, Galactica.